First, let's examine the fittings you will need for system K. On one end of your wire, you will have a fork swage terminal. On the other end, you will have a rigging screw that consists of a jaw, a body, and a swage terminal, which the wire rope is swaged into. To attach the wire and fittings to your post, you will need anchor points. In this case, we will be using lag eye screws, but you can also use saddles if you wish. The wire we are using is stainless 316 grade by 3.2 millimeter diameter by 1 by 19 construction. You may also wish to use grommets to finish off your intermediate posts. Here we can see the difference in size between the larger system K fittings and the smaller system J fitting. First start by making a suitable drilling template from a scrap board. In this case, the template will be spaced at 80 mm centres to comply with BCA regulations. After marking out the required number of 80 mm spacings, Mark the centre distances of these lines. In this case, a tri square is being used to transfer the distance. Once you have done all the marking out on your drilling template, you may drill it out using a 5mm drill bit. This is the correct size for drilling into the anchor posts, so the lag eye screws will screw in properly. Drilling your anchor posts. Measure the centre of your anchor post ready for attaching the drilling template. Again, we see the tri-square being used as just one example of how to transfer these distances. Having clamped your drilling template onto your post, drill 5mm drill holes to a depth of 55mm. For drilling the intermediate posts, first measure the center of the post so the drilling template can be clamped into position correctly. Please note, a 7.5 mm drill hole will be required for pre-swaged wires to pass through. If you intend to use split grommets, you will need to drill a 9 mm hole instead of the 7.5 to accommodate the larger 9 mm grommets. We always recommend drilling your intermediate posts just past halfway and then relocating the drilling template on the other side of the intermediate post. Once you have relocated the drilling template, continue to drill into your post till the hole runs all the way through the intermediate, ready for the wire to be passed through. By drilling from both sides, you are more likely to have your wires enter and exit in the correct location. Measure the inside distance between your anchor posts. From this measurement, deduct 210 millimeters. For example, if you had an inside measurement of say 2000 millimeters, then you would need to cut your wire to a length of 1790 millimeters. By doing so, you will have the correct adjustment from the fittings to tension your wire. This still allows you an additional adjustment of 40 millimeters if required. First, close the swager pump valve in a clockwise direction as indicated by the arrow. Next, place the swage stud end of the rigging screw between the swage jaws and continue to pump until the stud is just being held by the jaws. 
Insert the wire and continue to pump the handle until firm pressure is applied. It should be noted that the two faces do not have to touch to create a strong crimp. After turning the pump valve anti-clockwise, remove the rigging screw swage by undoing the bar that holds the jaws in position. Check that the swage end has a suitable crimp on it by comparing it to the sample crimp supplied. When done properly, the tensile force required to pull the wire out is approximately 800 kilograms. It is a similar operation with the fork swage terminal. Again, place the fitting between the jaws and pump the handle until the fork swage terminal is securely held. As before, be careful not to over pump the fitting at this stage or you will crush it and not be able to insert the wire. Once the fitting is securely held, feed the wire into the bottom of the fitting and continue to pump. To remove the fitting after crimping, release the pump valve, approximately quarter of a turn anti-clockwise, and then remove the fitting after taking the jaw bar out. Again, check that the fitting has been crimped as per sample. First start by removing the rigging screw body and then the right-handed threaded nuts from the terminal studs. Next, feed the wires through all of your intermediate posts. To attach the lag eye screws to your post, place the driver socket into your drill and then screw them in clockwise into the pre-drilled five millimeter holes. Run them in until the head is only slightly protruding from your post. Final adjustment may be done by using a screwdriver as shown. To attach the swaged fork onto the lag eye screw, first start by removing the spring wire clip and then the clevis pin. Next, place the jaw over the lag eye screw and push the clevis pin through the jaws. To finish, reattach the spring wire clip. It is a similar operation for the rigging screw jaw end. Attach the swaged fork onto the lag eye screw, first by removing the spring wire clip and then the clevis pin. Next, place the jaw over the lag eye screw and push the clevis pin through the jaws. To finish, reattach the spring wire clip. To adjust the wires, rotate the rigging screw body with your fingers whilst preventing the wire from rotating. Finish the final tensioning by using a rigging screw spanner as shown. The final step is to tighten the rigging screw lock nuts to prevent the rigging screw from coming undone. If you wish to insert grommets into your intermediate post, you will need a 9mm hole. Open the grommet with a suitable implement, in this case we're using a biro. Hold it to the wire, remove the biro and slide the grommet along the wire and plug it into the post. Remember, AAA Metal Suppliers for all your balustrading needs.